Hello Blender fans, this is Xenathan again with the new short video about a new asset I found on Blender Nation and um, this asset is called PCB Generator 1.0. This generator allows you to create random PCBs like shown in the image you see. And that is a blend file with a GeoNode setup done by Studio Hökus. And I thought I could show to you what it can do. So let's go. You can download it for free on Gumroad and I will put the link in the video description. Okay, so let's go into Blender. And here we open the file we downloaded. And in my case, that's in Blender Libraries and PCB Gen Export 01. Okay. And here you see the untextured textured view. And if we switch to render view, you see that something is wrong because that's all very purple. And that is because there are textures missing. And if we go to the shader editor and to the world node, there is an easy HDRI setup here and uh, that, that texture is missing. So we will just remove this. And then I go to easy HDRI. It's somewhere down here, easy HDRI. And then we load one of my studios create world nodes and that is part one you can already see wait a second i scroll up again in the end panel and we can zoom in here and you can already see in the lower part it's no longer purple but it's green and that means we are on a good way um, but there is another problem with the texture and that is if we go right to camera and lights there's an area light and that also has an hdri texture and that is missing and so we will just delete that area light and now we see the pcbs and let's hide the end panel here um, it's a little dark we can make the sky strength a little higher or we could add another area light, but for this demonstration, I think this will be good enough. Um, you have three different uh, PCB samples. You can see them here in the in this outliner, one, two, and three. And for ease of use, we will just make two and three invisible and stay with one. Okay, PCB gen sample one, we select it. And if we are on modifiers, if we are something else, we switch to modifiers. We have multiple options to control the PCB setup. And I will start with the last one. That's the PCB color. It is green at the moment and we could make it a little darker or we can change it to that old brownish look PCBs had in old times or to a bluish look. More modern PCBs often are blue. Okay, but now I will simply go back to the green version. The first two settings are very obvious. Those board width and board length and you can set the dimensions of the PCB with it. And uh, scale elements is also very obvious. It scales the elements. You can, you can make them smaller or bigger like you, as you like it. And the CPU ratio is how many CPUs are on the board. And let's scale it down a little bit and the population value says how many elements on that PCB. If we put this a little down, there are less of them. And also the density does something similar, 
but the population is in my opinion the number of elements on the board and the density is how tightly they are packed if we erase this to three that's a lot of elements on the board and so i will go back to one the seat of course as with every random generator is a seat and you can play around with it to get different configurations until you get one you like and let's see i like generally like one with less chips or processors on the board that it tends to be there's always one in the upper corner let's try a few more Okay, let's start this at zero and let's see what happens. And okay, if I remember correct, I had something nice at seven, but that will no longer work because I just changed the size of the PCB. Maybe we should make it again a little smaller again. Oh, what about 150, maybe 60? And yeah, that's that looks okay. So we have small, small chips and larger chips and very nice placement of elements here. And let me go to the camera and deactivate depth of field for the moment so we can see the PCB clearly. Okay. And that actually looks very nice it is possible to add your own elements here are collections they are deactivated pcb components common rare and large and you can put your own elements here as of the dis description on gumroad um, and when they're in they in there they will show up on the board in addition to the elements already there and of course, you can change the colors of the elements. Let's, for example, those small yellow blocks, I think they should be capacitors. And if we go to the object shader and we select the whole PCB, and then we go to capacitor 3001, you can change the color here and from the times when i was soldering a lot i learned in my first life to repair radio and tv sets and things like that um, those were mostly red and yeah maybe a little more roughness Yeah, and that's basically it. You can create very nice PCBs with this random generated PCBs. And since it's free, you should just download it and give it a try. Okay, folks, that's it already for today. I hope you liked this video. I highly recommend this GeoNode setup for you to try. And if you like the video, please press the like button or even subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye.